<laughs> I don't know why starting the video is always so weird for me. Like, I always gotta be weird about it. <sighs> I don't know why I'm such a weirdo. Okay, whatever. And I'm catching this, baby. What's up? Um, it is NC underscore Brie, NC Brie Brie, all of them work. Brianna works too. Oh, how awkward I am. Okay, anyway, so today I'm going to be doing a video all about my tattoos. My cat is literally harassing me right now. Why? Why are you harassing me? I'm trying to make a video. So, yeah. This is a video that I've literally always wanted to do since I was a kid, since before I had tattoos, because I used to grow up looking at videos like that. Like, I used to be obsessed with looking at other people's tattoos and hearing them tell their stories about their tattoos and their backstories and the meanings and all that. And I've always wanted to make a video like this, but I honestly wanted to wait till I have more tattoos or at least finished um, my sleeve. But being that um, my artist is booked up for the rest of the year and into the next year like a lot um i decided that i'm just gonna make this video and whenever i do get more tattoos and get more work done things like that i'm just gonna make an updated video and then i'm just gonna turn it into like a a tattoo series you know that okay so i'm gonna start from the first tattoo that i've ever gotten to the most recent tattoo um i feel like that'll work really well ignore my nails um gotta get them done Gotta get them done. Um, so before I get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, just do it. It's perfectly okay because it's free. Like you don't gotta pay to subscribe to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't really have to pay to subscribe to like anybody, but nonetheless, just go ahead and subscribe. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's get into this video. So um, I'm gonna try not to make this video like heck along. I don't want my head to be cut off though. Like I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. Um. Okay. So the first tattoo I've ever gotten is this one right here. Let me take this bow off. Um, I got this tattoo when I was 21, I think. Um, it pretty much says, "Dear Joy and Justice, I am because you are." It is in my handwriting. Um, I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, Joy and Justice are my kids, if you don't know. Um, and yeah. When I got that tattoo, I honestly thought it was going to be like super painful. I went in there with the idea that tattoos were um, super painful. I felt like I was going to be screaming. I thought my arm was going to be on fire. I went in there with the worst possible idea of pain like i was like yeah this shit's gonna hurt yeah yeah and then it didn't like honestly it really did not hurt that much like it was a three out of ten like if i were to rate it um yeah and that was my first tattoo um i'm gonna talk about pricing too i paid a hundred dollars for this tattoo um, and I believe I tipped 20. I tip every time I get a tattoo. Every tattoo session I have, I tip. Um, I just think it's right to tip an artist. So my second tattoo is this one right here, which is in my sleeve. It's a queen of hearts. And was a spur of the moment tattoo that I got. I believe I was 22. I was either 21 or 22 when I got it. I don't really remember. But it was a spur of the moment tattoo. It's not a, um, it's not a, it's not a duo tattoo. Cause I know a lot of people get them as like, somebody gets the king and somebody gets the queen. No, I got that, this tattoo on my own because I'm a queen. I feel like I'm a queen. Like women are queens. So I think I, I think it cost $50. And I think I tipped 10. Yeah. Um, God damn. <laughs> what was that? So my next tattoo was actually my 
big piece the first big piece i ever gotten which was my korean girl tattoo um with this lotus um so for this it was just these two swirls it stopped at those two swirls and these two swirls right here and i paid 700 dollars for this tattoo and i tipped 60 or 80 i don't really remember this tattoo right here okay so there was this picture that i found on google when i was like 16 17 I don't know if it was on Google or it was this website that I went on to. I think it was like called, I don't remember what it was called, but I seen this picture and I, I fell in love with it. Like it was the girl, it was the praying girl, but she had a wolf headdress on her. And it, instead of the lotus, it was like roses that kind of wrapped, went up it. Um, and I fell in love with the picture and I told myself that if I wanted that tattoo and I got older, I was going to get it. And I got it. My artist, he pretty much just redrew it up for me because I didn't want the head, the, the wolf head. And I didn't want the, the roses because I'm not big on rose tattoos, but I do love lotuses. So he pretty much redrew it up for me. And um, I was going for a Japanese style sleeve. So he did the swirls with the cherry blossoms. And that is what you see. Um, I'm going to stand up so you can get a better view of it. It, was, it took five hours to do, I believe. Yeah. Um, pain wise for this, honestly, I, it was when I started getting into like bigger pieces and, um, when you get into bigger pieces, the pain is different because it's like you're sitting for a longer period of time. And at some point your arm is numb and your body gets worn out and it makes the pain way more intense. Um, especially when you have to keep going back over and over spots and doing a lot of shading and stuff like it makes it hurt more I feel like the forearm is not really that bad honestly the most painful parts of the forearm is this part the wrist and going up into the inside ditch of your arm like those for me were the most painful what painful spots but also sitting for five hours it started to hurt a lot closer to the end because I was tired and my skin was just tired. I was just tired. Oh, uh -uh. well, that was that. And I got this tattoo when I was 22. Yes. So then I finished this up like a year later. I don't know why I waited so long to finish it up, but that's just kind of like how it happened. But I got this koi fish with some more cherry blossoms and some more um, swirls added to it just to kind of finish off this part of my arm. And I paid 300 for like this part. Um, so all in all, like the bottom part of my arm was $1,000 and I believe I tipped him $40. But yeah, like I said, the forearm isn't as painful as, like it's not that painful to me. Like it didn't hurt that bad, it was just, once you get into like longer sessions, I feel like the pain intensifies. I finished this part in 2020. But then I started working on the top part of my arm in 2020 as well. I kind of got the top part of my arm done faster. Um, but I got this dragon and um, the dragon initially had these peony flowers. There was one right here. And there's one right here and there were waves up here and as you can see there's waves right here and I'm going to insert a picture somewhere over here where you could just see what the outline look looks like looked like <laughs> when I got it just the outline of it and I really I did like the outline the guy who did the dragon is not the same guy who did this part by the way two different artists um my only concern when i got this tattoo was the fact that it did hurt a lot like i feel like it hurt more than it was supposed to and i feel like that was because he was heavy-handed and i did get um some like um we got like blowouts and raised lines which was something that i'm not used to like it is raised like when i rub it it's raised there's like some you can like literally feel the lines which I don't really like like I really don't like it I'm really big on my skin like I don't I don't like having like I love having soft skin like I'm really big on that so it was definitely something I didn't like and it did take a long time to heal which normally my tattoos heal like two two weeks two and a half weeks um this 
it was like months which i didn't really like but you know i was like okay so then um i had another session and it was to get some like background work done which i'm gonna insert a picture right here of what some of the background looked like and i did not like it i'm not gonna lie i was not in love i was i ended up crying like later that day because it just wasn't how i like envisioned my tattoo to go um so i didn't really like it at all and that's when i was like i'm just gonna go back to my, uh, my other artist and that's what i did for the dragon i paid 450 for the outline and then some of that background was like two 200 250 i believe i was like okay so i'm gonna have to get cover-ups because um if you saw in the picture there was like these thick black lines right here i literally i literally did not like those black but those thick black lines <laughs> that was right there i thought they were like super weird and i just it was just not it was not like what i liked at all i'm not gonna lie but i did like the outline of the dragon and stuff like i do love my dragon i do and i did like my peonies but with the cover up and stuff um i decided to go with like the galaxy cover up and the way they were just kind of like right here like right here i felt like it would have been like it would have looked weird to just have like galaxy up here and then just like random colored flowers i don't know if something about that i don't know i just thought it would look weird so i just got them covered up so that's why my artist did this galaxy cover up and um yeah um still have work to do you can still see the ways behind it um but he just has to do some more um packing in and color you could kind of see the lines of the flowers but he did a really good job of like covering them up with this like galaxy um i'm just gonna kind of give like a i love these meteors like i love the detail on these meteors like i really do um, I love the inner ditch. Um, this is like a lot of stuff that has to still be finished. A lot of color packing has to go in. My dragon has to be um, shaded in somehow. I haven't decided how I'm gonna work that, but this has to be done in the, on the back too. The pain for the top part of the arm is way more intense than the bottom. Like the top of the arm for me hurt a lot. Like the top of my arm hurt a lot. Um, a lot of the pain came from like the inner inner part of my arm definitely here um right the fuck here <laughs> like, honestly it was so many painful spots that i just really say that the top part of the arm in general really hurts um honestly the part that didn't hurt the most like was my shoulder cap which was crazy because i felt like my shoulder would hurt but it, it really didn't hurt that was like probably the one session that didn't hurt the most so for the, all the galaxy that I have on my arm. Um, so I don't know how I forgot how many sessions this galaxy was. And this and the elbow and all this was like one session. So yeah, like it was so the flowers were still here. So I still had the flowers. So it was like all of that. All of that in the elbow. That was he charged me 800 And then I had another session, a separate session for this shoulder cap like the shoulder cap by itself so the thing about it is normally he would have it would have been a thousand but he gave me a discount because i've been going to him for so long so i paid pretty much 800 for the shoulder and like all of that so the only thing that was not tattooed was the flowers um then i had a third session um where he covered up the flowers and i believe i paid six hundred dollars for that i believe and he also went in and did some more like detail work right here in this blackout section and also in here i believe um yeah he just kind of did like a little bit more detail touches up on that cover up work is automatically gonna pay more because you're covering up something you know what i'm saying and cover-ups are hard like cover-ups can be very difficult i also definitely do consult with my um my artist because with the galaxy i just told him to do what he wants like i i didn't tell him to put a planet here and his home do that i was like i trust you and as you can see like i really love how he did this like the meteors and stuff like i didn't tell him to put that in there i didn't tell him to put none of that in there i didn't tell him to put this and i said ah, he snapped. He snapped. 
when he put these meters in there and I saw those meters like when he did this planet on my arm I was like he's not this I love it like let me show y'all something let me show you something because it's like the cutest shit let me show you something but I absolutely love when I turn around and you can see it like do y'all see that I love that like the way I be taking pictures like this like like this like that <laughs> It's placed so perfectly, like. I'm, that's why I can't go to nobody else. Like, I'll wait a year. I'll wait a year, a year and a half to get tatted by him. But for, like, big pieces, detailed things, like, that's my artist. I will be putting his information also in the description box below. Because he's really dope and talented. Everything doesn't have like a significant meaning to it. It's more of like what things represent. Like the praying girl represents peace to me, the lotus. Um, if you're not familiar with lotus flowers, they pretty much grow in the mud, but they're like a really beautiful ass flower. And I really feel like that signifies my upbringing and my childhood and my life. And that's why I love lotuses. Um, cherry blossoms, they represent beauty. Koi fishes represents perseverance. And I just love Japanese style tattoos. So that's where this the swirls came in the spirals um the dragon represents strength and um the galaxy i just love galaxies galaxies are beautiful to me it just shows me that there is a world way bigger than me there's a whole lot out there it's just it just it's just like we're so small compared to what's really out there like the universe is such a big place and it's like this galaxy my cat is literally crazy. She's crazy. <laughs> if you want to be in my video, just say that. Just say that. Mm. So my other tattoos, um, I have this tattoo on my neck. Um, it says love yours. And it's like the J. Cole song, um, which is super important to me because I feel like we get so stuck on looking at everybody else's life and seeing what everybody else has. And you really just have to appreciate your journey and appreciate what you have and appreciate the life that you're given and that you have the opportunity to wake up every day and make a difference in your life and somebody else's life. So love yours is really just a reminder to me to just always love myself, always love the life that I'm living and that every day I have a chance to, you know, make it better, make a difference for myself. So that's why I have this tattoo. Um, the neck tattoo for me did not really hurt at all either. So yeah, it did not really hurt. Um, I paid $50 for this tattoo I think I said 20. Like my smaller tattoos are not done by the person that does like my sleeve. Oh my God, my cat is literally going crazy. Kira, relax. She's like playing with my braids, but like she's literally pulling and like doing too much like Kara 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 I'm gonna kick you out I'm gonna close my door and here you go still playing <laughs> um and then there she goes again okay I'm about to kick you out you got to go you got to go she's just doing a whole lot um Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving y'all manganese for this video, like, until I get a, like a, a phone stand, like I'm giving y'all manganese because. <laughs> Let's get on with the video. Next tattoo is this one, which is my most recent one. Damn which is my art tattoo, which was also a spur of the moment tattoo. I went on like a tattoo date with my friend and I absolutely love this tattoo. Um, you know, it just says art with a period. I love periods. I put periods at the end of like everything, like, because period, like I said what I said, but um, art, cause I'm art. Like I'm quite literally art, like look at me. 
yeah and that tattoo didn't also really hurt either but yeah that's literally like all the tattoos i have like i don't have any more other tattoos anywhere else in my body um i do plan on getting a lot more tattoos uh i want more tattoos so bad yeah <laughs> i'm about to become like i'm about to start being weird if i don't cut this video off like soon I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I missed. Pretty much, if I were to kind of calculate the amount of money that I put into my sleeve, I put over 3K into my arm. And that's been over the course of two years and I'm not done. Um, and that's fine with me. Like, this is my body and I love putting art, like beautiful art on my body. I want to get more tattoos on this arm. Um, I really do. Uh -huh. So i can't wait and when i do get more tattoos i'm going to make an updated video um and then i'm also going to do like tattoo vlogs because i like doing those too i do have two tattoo vlogs up on my channel if you haven't seen them go watch them um but yeah i'm just going to end this video before it gets real crazy and real weird like real soon but um yes like i said if you're not subscribed to me subscribe to me like i promise you it's okay you're not gonna regret it you know what i'm saying um make sure you like this video comment below if you have any questions because i will be doing a q a video really soon um and yeah that's it for this video um yeah <laughs>